In this video, we are going to take a look at Panadoc, the document automation application that allows you to send quotes, proposals, contracts, and other documents and get electronic signatures. When you open Panadoc, you will see the dashboard. These boxes indicate what is happening with the documents you and your company sent in the last week. In this case, we have five drafts, one that has been sent, 18 that have been viewed this week, and 10 that have been signed and completed. You can also see other categories like expired or declined documents. You can change this snapshot view by clicking on these buttons. You can also filter what documents you want to see by clicking here. On the right side, you can see the timeline. It shows the different activities happening with the different documents you and your company have sent, organized by time. In this case, we can see that this person viewed the proposal we sent him one hour ago. There are different ways to create and send a new document. One of them is doing it from the dashboard. Click on New Document and then on Document. In this new window, you can select one of the templates or start a new document from scratch. In this case, we are going to use a proposal template. Once you select the template, this new window will ask to assign roles to people. Depending on the signatures required to complete the document, you will have more or less roles. In this case, the only signature required to consider the document as completed is a client signature. So we are going to add the client to the client field. Click here and start typing the client's name. Once you see the result, click on it. If the contact is not here, you can add it as a new contact. Now click on Start Editing. The proposal has been created. You can customize the text and pricing table. Once the document is ready, click on Send. Here, you can change the name of the document to describe it better so you can find it easily later on. Now click on Save and Continue. This last window will show. Here, you can add a message so the person who receives the proposal knows what it is about. Finally, click on Send Document. You can also send PDF documents that require an electronic signature. Click on New Document and then on Upload. Drag and drop the file here, or click on Select File to upload it from your computer. Once it's uploaded, this new window will open. Here, you can add all the required fields to complete this document, like text fields, dates, and signature. Now assign all fields to the signer. Finally, click on Send. Here, change the name of the document and click on Save and Continue. In this last window, add a personalized message and click on Send Document. Let's go back to the dashboard. On the left side of the screen, you can find the menu. In Documents, you can find all the documents that have been sent by you and other Panadoc users in your organization. You can use the search bar to search for documents. You can also filter them using the different options on the left panel. This column shows the document name, this one the status, this one the value, and the last one when the document has been modified. Click on any document to open it. Here you can see the messages or comments in this document, as well as the audit trail and actions related to this document. Click on Documents to go back. Templates show you the different templates that are available for you to use. You can have as many templates as you need. You can also organize them in folders. Click on any template to open it. In this new window, you can modify the template, adding or removing elements. The changes will be saved automatically. Once you have finished modifying the document, click on Templates to go back. To create a new template, use the Create button. The Content Library shows a list of elements available for you to add to the documents you are creating. We will review how to use these elements in a different video. Catalogs is a list of products or services that your organization offers. These items are linked to the pricing table. Click on any item to modify it. You can also create a new item using the New Catalog Item button. 
In the Contacts tab, you will find a list of all the contacts in the system. You can click on New Contact to add contacts. Click on the magnifier to search for any contact. If you click on any contact, you will see a list of documents related to this contact. In the Add-on store, you will find a list of add-ons available for your documents. There are a lot of options here. Click on any of the add-ons to see more information about it. If the add-on is not enabled, click on the Add to Panadoc button to enable it. In the Settings tab, you will find options related to your account, profile, billing, team, etc. In your profile, you can change your name and profile picture. You can also set up a signature so it's easier for you to sign a document. In the notification section, you can select what email notifications you would like to receive. In branding, you can change the logo and color scheme. If you would like to accept online payments through Panadoc, you can configure it in the Payments Getaways tab. In integrations, you will find different native integrations available to link Panadoc with different apps that you might be using, so the apps can talk to each other and share information. In Teams, you can add or remove team members, as well as change the roles. In Settings, you can change the general settings related to the documents you create, like signature types, expiration, email attachments, and more. Finally, on the Saved Messages tab, you can manage and create message templates that you can use every time you send a new document.